Um, this is my favorite part of the show. <laughs> oh, God. All right, this one, this is actually really good. How much do you care about space tourism? Why should we go slash not go to the moon, Mars, and beyond? This is from Vincenzo Giordano. This is not a real name. <laughs> that is not a real name. Your name's Vincenzo Giordano? Do you own a pizza parlor? <laughs> like, you're a character in a Hallmark movie. It's just like, Vincenzo Giordano met Amy. Amy left her job at the newspaper. Little did she know, Vincenzo would steal her heart. <laughs> Hallmark Channel presents, Jenny, you know. On the 25 days of Christmas. Vincenzo, what do you do? We go to the moon? Mars? Uh, no. Why not? The point of going to Mars? Yeah. I agree, man. I don't get it. <laughs> I honestly don't get it. Like, I, well, all these billionaires have all this money. I'm like, save Earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're a billionaire, save Earth. <laughs> like, like, get water that's clean to Flint, Michigan. But they're like, you know where else they have water? Mars, we're going to Mars. <laughs> like, I don't get it. The crazy part is, is like, if they're that rich and they know that, much, and they're like, all of them, like Branson, Musk, Bezos, are all like, we gotta get away from Earth. I'm like, what do you know that we don't know? <laughs> right, like this obsession to colonize another place. I think it also is, because as an Indian person, I just think that like colonialism isn't in vogue anymore. <laughs> so it's like the new thing rich white people can do <laughs> that won't get them canceled, you know what I mean? <laughs> Because they're like, there's no Martians. We're not going to, they're just, I'm just going to colonize the red dirt. That's all. Um, what do you think, man? You think we should go? <laughs> Space. You think we should go? I Why? Think, like, if, if I would be rich, I would be like helping people on like, the way you said. I'll be spending more money in the earth, not on Mars. I, I, see, the thing is, like, I want, that's such a beautiful sentence. Yeah. But based on what you told me about your dad not hitting on it. It's not like other Indian dads. But yes, he's beautiful. Okay. He never hit me. What you did? I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Like, I just don't believe you. Like, I want to believe you. That was such a beautiful moment. And we could cap the video with that. And then it would be like, subscribe below. But like, it, people in the comments would be like, liar. All right, let me ask you guys a question. Did you guys watch Avengers Endgame? I did. Did you watch it? I don't watch it yet because I'm waiting to take my kids. Oh, you're going to take the kids? Yeah. Which might be a mistake. I haven't watched the last seven. Is it seven. sad? No, I haven't watched the last seven. It's is sad. It, okay, first of all, is it good? Because I haven't it's seen good. the last seven movies. Did you hear that Clay Thompson walked out of the last hour of the movie? Why? He, Why? He wasn't feeling it. Because it's four hours? Well, it's three hours. But okay. he said like, the plot didn't grab him. Wow. That's the most... Wait, wait, why is that such a... I'm, I'm in agreement. I feel like every time I watch a Marvel movie, like, like when you eat McDonald's, you feel everything but nothing at the same <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. That's the Avengers! But no, like, he it's already... All the, it's all the fucking same. He already put two hours into the movie. Yeah, that's like, oh, it's like, oh, like, yeah, at that point, at that point, at that point, at that point, yeah, yeah. yeah. just thug it out for the last hour, my guy, come on, like. But, but do you, but when you watch him, do you feel something? Because I don't, because it's always like, ah, oh, New felt something, destroyed again, like. I felt something because everyone in the movie theater was crying, but because I'm smart and I knew it was three hours, I didn't drink any liquids the whole day, so I had no tears in my body whatsoever. <laughs> so I was just watching it, I was like, oh, where she died, you feel like that? Mm. Do you, <laughs> you cry during movies? I, you know what, I don't cry during movies, but then I'll cry at, like the weirdest parts, of, like. Like, someone would be like, He's oh, you a sandwich. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, shit, I had a sandwich. <laughs> I give it up super easy. Yeah. <clears throat> nothing's worse than being in the movies and, like, you see someone else crying, you're like, oh, look at this bitch. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> and then next thing you know, like, the dog dies, you're like, ah! I cry. I cry. I took my wife. We went to go see The Good Dinosaur, the Pixar movie, years ago. Yo, why did you and do I that? I was bawling. Why did you, you do that with no kid? No kid. Why would you do that? I fuck with Pixar. That's emotional torture. They spent, they, spent, they spent like 20 years making a the movie. They're like, we started working on, you ever see like the DVDs? They're like, we started working on The Good Dinosaur in 1994. I'm like, what? <laughs> like They're, Tupac was still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the most interesting person you've talked to with your in-person interviews? In, most interesting person I talked to in my in-person interviews uh, was Xiao Wen, who was the um, Chinese protester. She was really awesome. She's a Chinese feminist pro protester. Uh, she was really funny. Like, she was super, super funny. She, like, tore me a new asshole. Uh, she was very funny. You've done studio podcasts without yes. an audience, as well as live podcasts yes. with an audience. Which one do you prefer? 
I prefer without an audience for two reasons. Uh -huh. First one is when there's an audience, I think sometimes you feel the need to perform. Uh -huh. So you're kind of like, you're not in it because you're always sort of like checking the reaction of the room. Right. Um, and then it also might make you not want to maybe say things that you truly feel because you're like, oh, I don't want to be judged. Like, I don't know how right. people are going to take it. And then the other reason is just like, you can treat, like, WNYC is, like, so chill. Like, I would just, like, show up, no makeup on, yeah. like, just, like, my period panties on, and, like, <laughs> with sweatpants over them. Obviously. I'm not just walking in with panties on. But, I mean, and you could just be, like, so casual and just chill. And so yeah. I love that. Like, the, I think the performativeness of being a woman sometimes is very exhausting. Got it. Yeah. What's up? We're not doing one more. Eddie, we're going to keep it rolling, baby. Yeah, we're having fun. We're having too much fun right now. <laughs> yeah? All right. You know what I think it is? I think it's because you get secrets. Like when yes. you're solo like that, because I, I've, I've, I, like when I did the podcast, you go into the WNYC offices. It's chill. Get your little coffee. Yeah. They got like the padding on the wall, the, yeah. the styrofoam thing. And it's great. Yeah, and you're just like, Austin, you got married, right? Yeah. And it was like, all right. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Favorite book is this book called On Writing by Stephen King. It was really, it's like all about like the writing process. It's one of the best books I've ever read about the creative process. And then one of my favorite fictional books, uh, fiction books, is probably Shantaram. That was really fun. Shantaram, yeah. They were gonna make a movie on it, but then they stopped. I know you generally don't do act outs, but do you have uh, your best, this is something we've been doing at the office, your best Kawhi Leonard laugh impression? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm a diehard Pistons fan, pick and stick. As someone who has a team that can relate to your pain, do you support the idea of teams tanking? Um, yeah, I say tank, but you just can't make it obvious. You know what I mean? Like, just like put in bench players, rotate them in, let the players like do Instagram on the bench. Just do things that'll like keep them distracted. That way you can get Zion, so I would say that. <laughs> just if you're desperate, just, just be creative. Like, start your point guard at center and just, <laughs> just see what happens. Okay, toaster strudel or Pop-Tarts? This is a really important question. This is just for me. Uh, I'm, I think I'm old school Pop-Tarts. And sometimes I like them just cold. I'm Straight like up? Them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, you just open the wrapper. Wow. It's, it's dry. You need, here's There's it. no toaster strudel fans in the... It's like toaster strudel is fine, but I'm like, you're just what? trying to come for pop tarts, and I don't like that. Yeah, putting your own icing on it is the best part. Yeah, the breakfast one too, actually, is fire. <laughs> toaster strudel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it always a breakfast item? Okay, they made an egg and cheese one. Oh, they made an egg and cheese one. Wait, you're there's like, a, mac a breakfast and cheese? One? Egg, egg and cheese, egg oh, and okay. cheese. Okay. Egg and yeah. cheese. Okay. Here's what you do you, I, I totally understand the frosting to. Uh, sort of surface area dilemma. <laughs> so they give you one packet per. What you do is you use the second packet, you use half of that, and then you leave that for your sister. Okay. You fuck over generations to come. <laughs> it's the American way. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Are you always on time? Always. always? Now, is that a thing that you also learned from childhood? You, so you were always late, and then you got better over time? Yeah. What was the critical moment? Yes. Yeah. Long? You do it half the time? I will get to the airport. Okay. So it's a five hour flight. Four hours early for a two hour flight. What? Are you a masochist? Why would you do that? So you guys will go four hours? Yes. I know, but. But you know what? Somewhere my children are fine. So some, something happened. You missed a flight, huh? Once. Do you know what? I haven't even learned my lesson. This, this was like two months ago. I fell asleep. I had one of those like 6 a.m. flights. I fell asleep at the gate. <laughs> I missed my flight because I fell asleep at the gate. I just like knocked out. No, no one cares about me. No one, ca no one cares about me. And I called my dad and he told me the same thing. He's like, Hassan, no one cares about you. No one cares about where you have to go, your problems. He even told me, he's like, people won't even come to your janazah. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> he's real. He's a real dad. It's a real dad. He's a super legend. Super big facts. But I didn't change. When is he coming on the show? 
He would love, I can't do that. He would, <laughs> he would feed off of it too much. What am I doing? I just love to see my dad do the jump to the stage. <laughs>